So Ashish, you spoke about uh, role of faculty. You spoke about uh, gate focus books, the role of gate focus book. You spoke about role of e lectures. You spoke about role of test series. Mm -hmm. So all these four factors combined. So if I have to, st uh, if I want to aim, and I want to target all India rank one in gate preparation. So how I should use all these four, uh, you know, tools? Yeah, first you should uh, give importance to the basic concepts of the textbooks. So start with the college textbooks, whatever are there in your curriculum. Go with the basic textbooks, uh, cover each, each chapter and clear your concepts. Next, you move on to the video lectures that are available on the website. So that helps you, you know, to get a better knowledge of how these subjects are focused in gate. So you will also, I mean, along with your basic concepts clear, you will also have, have a knowledge of how these are asked in gate orientation. Yeah, the alignment with the gate preparation. So that will be there. After that, uh, when you are clear with this, so go to the subject level test that are there. Because it's very important to, you know, always practice. Whenever you learn a subject, it's very important to practice also. If you learn two, three subjects together, or after that, if you come to questions, it will be very difficult because you, one, one always tends to forget some uh, a lot of facts. So that's what I I, uh, I will suggest is first you uh, you know go through the video lectures of a particular subject and your classroom teaching, and then you attend the your lecture halls also. I mean, you go to your college lectures, you attend them properly because you know it's always easier for a person to grasp. What, are, what is being taught by the professor when you already have a background knowledge. Yes. So once you uh, have attended the lecture, now with all your uh, theories and all your concepts solved, you can go to the actual test series. So go to the subject level test series, which are there. You have now one mark, two mark questions in your modules and all. So when you practice those questions, you will be able to understand how your, I mean, how much knowledge you have grasped and uh, also how your preparation is along with the gate preparation. So. After this, I will suggest the last two three months go through a proper full length tests that are available. You have to, you know, these tests give you a knowledge of how entirely how you are standing, and uh, also your benchmark against the best peers, students who are preparing, how sincerely they are preparing. So you know your what your level of preparation is. So, as I told, your full length test in the last two two three months will be really helpful, and uh, this will help you to to create your strategy for the final exam. To summarize, uh, Ashish, uh, uh, what uh, you have said, so uh, you should go through concept books which yeah. are in, uh, in college curriculum. Yeah. You should also go through uh, gate books, gate focus books. Yeah. You should go through e lectures yeah. before you go to a faculty like to uh, receive the lecture. Right. So you should uh, you should prefix. So you should do this before you get into a lecture, yeah. so that your mind is fertile to receive the concept. Yeah. Uh, you have already uh, raised doubts in your mind, which you can clear in the lectures. And once you have gone through a particular chapter, a particular lecture, then you should attempt section level uh, yes. tests, yeah. section level tests, which are there uh, in uh, in our test series, and it is also there in our gate focus books. Yeah. Uh, once you have covered one chapter, and then the second one, once a complete subject is over, mm -hmm. then you should attempt subject yeah. level yeah. subject level tests. Yeah. And uh, during your four five months uh, of preparation, once you have covered all your all subjects, subjects, then you should start attempting full length tests. Correct. So that you can benchmark yourself against uh, the you know all India all India actors. All India actors. Right. So you know where do you stand whether you are coming in under 50 or you are uh, not your profession is not up to the mark. So Ashish, uh, you have made it really big and great. You have secured uh, all India rank one. So what are your future aspirations? Okay. Um, I am uh, basically aiming into the core electronics and instrumentation profile. So my core area of interest is in electronic design technology and uh, I have uh, luckily found two, two courses, one is in IIC Bangalore and other is in IIT Bombay. So my aim is in is getting into this institute and uh, pursuing my area of interest. Very nice. So I wish Ashish all the very best for your future career so. and we will be uh, helping you with, uh, you know, uh, in Institute of Science we will also be guiding you where to uh, go and we will also be trying to uh, get you, you know, meeting with I think professors which we have already done. So we do not hold, uh, we, after the course is complete, we, once a student gets a good rank, we also have the, this complete process where we handhold our students to secure be better and uh, better career. Thanks so all the best Ashish for your sub future. Yeah.